Okay, so I started my 30 day keto, zero carb, zero sugar, as close as I can get. I usually, when I do the keto, I usually go, um, I try to go about 20 grams or less when I'm doing regular keto and I'm on this challenge. It says zero. I don't know if I can do zero, but I'm going to try to get it to five. Now, I put it on Facebook, and I'm getting so many people that are interested in wanting to know how to eat, what to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, keto is really easy, especially if you know how to cook with it. <laughs> how you know, like, you can make um, you can make pasta that's a mock pasta with, like, a spaghetti squash with cauliflower. You can do so many things. You can make pizza crust. You can make mashed potatoes out of cauliflower that I tell you, if you closed your eyes, you wouldn't know it wasn't mashed potatoes. So... I'm going to show, now I just started this today, this is more of a treat, something, remember I'm not going to cheat, usually you have a cheat day here and there, for 30 days I'm not going to cheat, no cheating, um, so this is an ice cream I'm going to make, I'm not going to use a freezer, I'm not going to use an ice cream maker, and it's going to be virtually no carb, there are some carbs in the cream, a little bit, it's only half a cup of cream, or yeah, half a cup of cream, I'm using a little bit of carbs in there, but virtually no carbs besides that. Um, this is going to taste and look a lot like ice cream. So, um, the ingredients I'm going to use, this is all I'm going to use. First off, I need a large gallon size Ziploc bag. Then I need a regular sandwich size bag. One that you would put your little Wonder Bread sandwiches in there if you eat Wonder Bread. Um, I have a coarse salt. I'm using coarse salt. You could use a coarser, a, a, a kosher salt. Anything that's like a, not table salt, but a hard, rocky kind of salt. This is coarse salt here. I'm using a vanilla extract. About, I, I got five tablespoons of here. This is to keep the consistency because it actually doesn't go in the ice cream itself. It's for the outside of the bag, and you're going to see that later. Um, I have a vanilla extract, about a tablespoon, a little bit more. Usually I use Splenda. I'm actually out of Splenda, so I got Stevia. It's uh, the granular stuff. I don't know how it's going to work. I've never used it with Stevia yet. I'm in favor of Splenda. I really like Splenda. Um, and then I have any, any heavy cream. This would even work with milk, but milk actually has lots of carbs in it. So you want a cream. The thicker the cream, the less carbs it's going to have. So I got a whipping cream here. You could use an 18% table cream or even half and half would work. You're actually going to get a richer flavor like this because we're not worried about fat. In the keto diet, you need fat because that's your only source of energy because hopefully you are going to totally carb deplete yourself and put your body in the state of ketosis. Your body has no carbs. It has to. It'll have to have, rely on intake of fat for energy. So the fat's great. Bacon's great. We actually, uh, there's a thing called um, coffee. You make it bulletproof coffee where they put some oil and butter in there. I go to Tim Hortons and I ask for butter in my coffee. They look like a, they look at me like I got four heads, but whatever. Um, so these are all the ingredients I'm going to take. I don't need a freezer. I don't need anything. One more thing that I don't have here. I need. A, I actually should have more. I only got two trays, but I need about to fill half of this up of, of uh, ice cubes. So I only have two like regular sized trays. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna put it on pause because you gotta shake it. But here's here's all it works. This is this is the whole thing right here. Very very simple. First off, and you have to make sure these get the ones that you can see the color because if you don't walk this, you're gonna have a mess. So I'm gonna open up the smaller size, the smaller size sandwich bag. The cream is going to go directly in there. Like I said, it's about half a cup. I put a little bit more. I always put a little bit more. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so that's the, the half cup of cream. It's in there. Then I'm going to have my vanilla extract. It's, they asked for a tablespoon. I put a little bit more in the tablespoon. I like the flavor. And there's no carbs in there, so we're good with that. So that is my vanilla extract. That's it. Um, then I have my stevia. Like I said, I normally use Splenda. A um, couple, couple tablespoons. You don't have to worry. There's no carbs in there. Well, I think the stevia has one or two, but Splenda has zero. So I'm going to put that in there. That's all that's going to happen. Now I got to shake. Now I got to lock this up real nice and tight. Remember, there's no freezer. There's no nothing. You're going to be amazed. Um, boop, boop, boop. I have to make sure that's really, really tight. Because if it if it opens, one time I didn't have it that tight and it opened up in there. And I want to make sure there's not much air in there because it'll cause a problem too. Get all the air out. Zip it up. So. And I'm just going to 
I don't have to make sure it's perfectly because it's going to move around. You're going to see when we put the, you're going to see when we do the finished product for what the bigger bag is for. But just get it gently measured a little bit. So it's a little bit all together. So I can put some of this stuff away. That's good. So I can put my cup away, put my cream away, my stevia away. Trying to do this quick because you guys aren't going to sit through this video if I spend half the time cleaning up tongs from earlier. That's going to go away. Um, the salt can go away because that's the salt's not actually going into the ice cream at all. Zero. I'm not a culinary expert. Um, I'm not a scientist. This goes on the outside. I think it has to do with something with the consistency of the ice cream and it'll make it a better consistency. So here's the magic. It's very, very simple. I am going to get, like I said, you need a little bit. <laughs> As I drop ice cubes everywhere. Uh, bear with me one sec. I'm going to pair these on the floor because you don't actually eat the ice cream. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to have enough here, I'm telling you right now. Um, it would call for a little bit more than this. There's my ice cubes. I got two trays. It would be nice to have another tray. Let's see how this works anyway. It's going to hurt me having not enough ice, but what are you going to do? Um, so, big bag. So all we got is our ingredients. This is going to be our ice cream right here. Now, mind you, this is not going to make ice cream where you're going to put it in the fridge for later or freezer and eat it two days later. It's not going to taste very good or it's going to lose its consistency. So all these ice cubes are going to go into my large gallon size Ziploc. Remember these? fell on the floor and everybody's probably laughing at me, but um, I'm not actually going to eat nothing. I'm not going to eat anything in here. I don't really care if it gets dirt on it. That's why that was so Ziploc tight because the, the salt cannot get into the ice cream. You're going to have salty tasting ice cream and it's going to taste horrible. So, that is my ice in there. The bag should really be half full. I got about a quarter full, but let's see how this works. The coarse salt. Remember, this can be kosher salt. This can be... Um, Kosher salt, I just got coarse salt, whatever you want to use, whatever's available, we're all over the, it's five tablespoons. That's going to go in there with the, with the ice. Now this bag, make sure it's nice and sealed, is going to go in here. And that's just about all you do. Now, I am going to shake this. Shake, 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 like I am, like I can, like, like crazy. Um, most of the recipes say you're going to shake it for about four minutes. Um, it's going to give you like a soft ice cream, like a soft serve. The longer you shake it, the more it's going to be like a hard ice cream. I don't know how this is going to work because I don't have enough ice cubes. I should have bought some ice uh, at the store, but let's see how this goes. So I'm going to actually just show you what I mean by shaking it. And like I said, it's in there, and I'm just going to shake it. And I'm going to put this on pause because it's going to take me about 10 to 12 minutes to get a nice hard ice cream, and then we'll come back. And we're back. Now, um, like I said, I did not have... Uh, let's get a little bit of clean up here. Um, I did not have a nearly enough ice, so that was my problem for this video. There needed to be more ice than I had. Um, it's almost melted down. I've been shaking this for uh, about six or seven minutes. Like I said, the longer you go, the more it's going to be a harder type ice cream. Um, as a call comes in, um, we'll have to wait for dog training till after the video. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll call them right back. <laughs> um, now, this seven, eight minutes, probably not gonna be the consistency you like. It's gonna be more of a soft type ice cream. Um, but like I said, I needed twice as much ice as I got. I should've got a thing of ice, I forgot about it. I only had what was in the freezer. So, so that is all we're gonna do. Now remember, I would shake it another five minutes and get a more consistency, a more harder ice cream, like a more of a hard ice cream, that's what I wanted, but what are you gonna do? Now, so you're gonna take this out. Like I said, Matt, most of that, and it's gonna look like this, big crumpled up piece of goo. Now, you want to rinse this because there's salt. Remember the salt in there? That salt is gonna be over there, and if you get it in the ice cream, it's gonna taste horrible. Um, so this is kind of garbage. This thing I wanna rinse off nicely with really cold water, because you don't wanna, you wanna rinse it off with a nice cold, cold, cold water, because you don't want it to melt it all. So let's get this tap going a little bit. You have to rinse it off a lot. Just make sure there's no salt on there. Um, 
you can see right there what it looks like. It's very mushed. Um, but watch when I put it in a bowl, it's going to look delicious and it's going to taste yummy too. Just a little bit of rinsing. I don't want to melt it too much. I'm going to get my bowl here so you can see. I'm going to open this up. Like I said, I didn't rinse it great, but for video purposes, that's what I'm going to do. And then, let me see if I can get um, an actual ice cream scoop, which I have right here. Um, remember, you're, this is going to be enough for one person, maybe two small treats. And this isn't something that you're going to do a lot of. But that... So like, like I said, it's more of a, it's in the middle. I could have, I could have, uh, let me see if we can get a better, better view of that. It's almost hard like I wanted. It's in the middle. But like I said, four minutes is going to be a soft serve ice cream. Um, the harder you want it, I would have liked to go another four or five minutes to make it a harder consistency. But you can see it's pretty good. And don't tell me that doesn't look like ice cream right there. And it's going to taste yummy. Um... Like I said, I'm on the no-carb thing. If you want to add a little bit of fruit to this, it wouldn't kill you if you were doing like a low-carb thing. I'm trying to do as little carb as possible. Like I said, this is a treat. I would do this because I'm not going to have any cheat days. I would do something like this at the end of a week instead of having my cheat day for my 30 days. But I just wanted to do this video for everybody out there. I was asking about the low-carb thing because you really can... You really can, if you're creative and you're, you go research on Google, all kinds of recipes, you can do some amazing stuff with substituting carbs, substituting sugar for Splenda, substituting, um, like I said, you can make a wonder, amazing um, pasta out of spaghetti squash. It's like a fake pasta and you can make, um, and what was I saying? The mashed potatoes are the cauliflower. It's like unbelievable. Hey, shush. And my dogs are barking. So that is it. And there's my ice cream. And you can say, I can take it out, and that looks and tastes just like a... And you're telling you, you can, that it tastes better to me right now. Actually putting a little extra uh, stevia in there, give it a little more, more sweetness than the Splenda, I think. So that is my ice cream. There's probably about four or five total carbs in there. Well, there's a little bit of carbs in the cream, but that's it. Like I said, this wouldn't be something I would have um, the first day I did this. I'm just doing this because everybody wanted to see. Don't tell me that doesn't look like ice cream. and tastes like ice cream. Oh, well, there you go. Um, maybe I should put some more videos up. Um, I don't know. That's for my Facebook friends that wanted to know about the keto diet. Remember, if you put yourself in ketosis, your body has no choice but to burn fat. Even walking, talking. All right, that's it.